So let's talk about setting goals and using scheduled transactions as a way to help guide what you want to put in your budget. So let's first look at scheduled transactions. Scheduled transactions and especially recurring ones are great for things that happen every month and are always the same. The best example of this would be like a mortgage payment or a car payment, something that is exactly the same amount every single month that always comes out on the same date of the month. So let's say you have rent or mortgage. One of my favorite things to do is to actually put in the title of the category, what date it's due and how much it is so that you have it at your fingertips to see it right there in front of you, what you need to have budgeted in that category. But you can also come into whichever account you usually use for that mortgage, whatever account it comes out of, and we're gonna create a scheduled transaction. So scheduled means it's happening in the future. So I'm gonna go forward to the 1st of July because my mortgage payment comes out every month on the 1st, and then I'm going to go down to repeat, and I'm gonna choose monthly, okay? Now I do have a client who has a mortgage payment that actually comes out every two weeks, right? Not twice monthly, but every two weeks. So this is really, really helpful because it helps to kind of plan ahead because a couple times a year, there's gonna be an extra mortgage payment, right? So schedule it for whatever's appropriate. So in this case, I'm gonna say July 1st and monthly. Then I'm gonna say mortgage company. I'm gonna say this is my rent mortgage and it's $1,000. Now you'll see it went in as, as scheduled. It didn't actually affect my account, right? Because that money hasn't come out yet. It's just there as scheduled. But watch what happened inside of the budget. For June, I'm good because the next transaction is not until July. But when you go to July, there's a little yellow box and a calendar. And it's like, hey, you have $1,000 in upcoming transactions for this category. You need to budget $1,000 to cover this expense that is coming up. Okay, so it gives you that prompting. It gives you that um, that heads up that you've got scheduled transactions. Um, my sewer transaction, my sewer expense is always the same amount, right? So you can put any bill that is the same amount every month on the same date, you can put as a scheduled transaction so you can get these little prompts on the side. Now the other way to do this is to set goals. Setting a goal is nice for things that maybe don't come out the same every single month. Um, maybe it comes out once every three months or once every six months, right? And so this is a good example of this might be maybe your car insurance. Maybe you pay six month premiums at a time to save a little bit of money instead of paying monthly. And so you can come into car insurance. And again, I like to write the total here. You can say, um, let's say it's $900 every six months, okay? And so it's currently June. So let's say my next car insurance payment is due on June 17th. Let's say it's due on December 17th, right? So click on the checkbox to select that category and come over to the right. It says create car insurance goal. Click. Now I know that I need $900 by a certain date. That specific date is December 17th. So six months from now, right? I'm going to say $900 needed for spending. Needed for spending means that um, you can spend it along the way if necessary, or you can do a targeted savings balance, um, which means I want to save um, a, a certain amount by a certain date and then maintain it, right? So I want to get to $500 and then keep it there. That's not what you want, right? You need to spend it. Monthly savings would be, oh, I save $100 a month, no matter what. Um, if there's not a certain goal, there's not a certain target, I'm not gonna spend it, I just wanna save it, right? That's not what you want either. Needed for spending means that you're going to need to spend this money at some point, right? So needed for spending by a certain date, and you are going to, if you repeat it, you can repeat it every six months. Cool, right? Okay, so repeat your goal every six months because that's how much your car insurance is. Click save. Now, if your premium changes every six months, don't do it that way, but click save goal. And now you can see it has given me a little um, timer, a little um, pie chart that says, hey, you still need to budget more to stay on track. So when you do that and you budget that $150, it's going to say, boom, you're on track. So goals and scheduled transactions are a great way to prompt you to stay on track as you're planning your cash flow. So I hope that was helpful.